was failing and street stabbings daily and climate change staying at the top of the news. Westminster still wants a wedge out of my wages to spend on a weapon they never can use. And if they should use them, what is there to say? And how to square that with where I stand today? I'm just 23 and I want to have children. I'll not keep the peace for them, police in this way. So I whipped out my cuffs and locked onto a lorry. My colleagues are staring like I was insane. Then one by one, slowly, they broke ranks to join me. On the PC365 blockade of Baslane hey. The protesters ecstatically reached for their mobiles Broadcasting the news to the planet at large Where the statement I issued was widely reported For health and for safety we had to take charge Now medals adorn me and doors open for me and children applaud me for letting them live When the daydream was broken by words harshly spoken Saying look alive 365, time to change shift <laughs> We might sing that to the cops tomorrow morning. Yes. Yeah. If you're there at 6 30, yes. you'll catch it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I have a friend called Phil, and he went off on a boat for Greenpeace um, to. Uh, uh, go up to the Arctic and I think they were planning to, they had these pods, so they were going to attach them to rigs and try and disrupt the drilling up there. And they were, they were in international waters, um, but the Russians decided to uh, fly a big helicopter across land on, you know, SAS style on their, well, they sent their military to land on the boat, arrest all of them, all 30 people on the boat, including journalists, including cooks and crew, and you know, there's only a handful of actual activists. And they actually put them in jail for about two months. Um, but when they were first in jail, and I heard about it, I was absolutely mortified because the, the charge was piracy. And piracy comes with a 17-year sentence. So my friend Phil, who's got three little kids, could have been... And it, it, it was an awful feeling, and I, I felt very powerless, so I wrote a song. In the end, they were in for two months. There was a massive, uh, you know, global insistence that they were released and um and putin did in the end um and it and it and it brought a lot of attention to the issue so in, in the end it was all right but you know Millions and millions join in, and we 
aware of the tragedy unfolding there and the irony of the ice melting which means we can get What can we learn from it all? Cause they're still trying to get to that oil. We mobilize, galvanize, organize, realize the power to see this thing through. And I ask you to do this again. Face the cold and the gun. Cold, fragile beauty you made. And we're standing strong and we're singing this song. There's other folk with us singing along. We're outside the embassy, we're going in. And millions and millions and millions joy. Getting ready for the next one. Sorry. Are you alright? Do you need anything? Can I get anyone a drink? <laughs> there is a bit of space at the front here if anybody yeah. wants to come in. Who's that? Loads of clothes. <laughs> yeah, let's play the front. We love to fit. We love people at the front. Come on, come in. I think they're all smoking. Oh, yeah. Apart from you, you're not smoking. Or off there is a seat. Making plans. Or what they're up to. I don't know. You're in already now. I don't know what they're up to. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, so we're going to sing our hit single that you will have clearly heard. Hello, Hello. 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 Can I ask you, can I, can I ask, can I, can you get another glass of wine for me, please? It's called oh, Cracker Hacker. Can you get another drink for me, because I'm on history. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I wrote this one um, after I went up to Balkan. That was the first time I sort of went up to a fucking thing, and that was the day. Uh, and Caroline Lucas from the Green Party got arrested, and it was all very interesting. And uh, then I went on to Barton Moss and stuff. Now, what was, oh yeah, by the way, this is only a small part of our band, so there's only four of us. So, uh, some things have been a bit more challenging. We haven't got a bass guitar, for instance. So we're giving you ourselves a very raw... Oh, we're all right, aren't we? We're doing okay so far. Do you want to know what we really sound like? We've got CDs for Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um, have a good this time. Yeah. yeah, this is a song all about um, something you know quite a lot about. No, I'm Pushing in the green and pleasant cushion It's the tick-tack, tick-tack 
attack A sucking of the nails in the coffin But they wanna take a coffin So I'm down for Preston Where the folk will make you welcome If you haven't come to tell them We need an oil well If you're not some wacko addict With a billion smacker habit Getting high on jacking gases How to preach Jurassic acid So well Quadrillion mosquitoes and they call them the mosquitoes Exploratory proboscis Probing like a penis of an energy extreme With a skin to read the skin where all the cream is in his dream Horizontally hydraulic Shooting hydrochloric Biocyphalia Trilomite So you can eat your holic While they surgically fracture every bone in mother nature Satiating fossil training Come here. Oh, I'll tell you that later, actually. What are we going to do now? Yeah, we're going to do that one. Uh, so, get this They're really good, aren't they? One of the really inspiring things that happened. I like that you're filming. Are you filming all of most of this? You're filming Yeah, live streaming. Okay. Oh, live stream. Oh, blimey. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. You know, it's really changed, right? It's it used really to be a time you, you just released the really good takes. <laughs> and now you go on YouTube and it's like... Million hits on some really appalling performance that you did. Oh God, that's that's done us, isn't it? Luckily, it's the same for everyone. So it's actually raising standards. I hope. Exactly. Hello, are you watching this live? They are. Yeah, they were clapping along. 
Are we getting they were, they were, they were clapping along. Where, whereas I really like you. No, we love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She does. She's planning a solo career. Hello, <laughs> Mom. It's great to see you all relaxing. Hi. Claire Willis said it's great to see you all relaxing. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Killing man. Stop. Get off your screen and get up to Preston. That's what I say. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas I don't say that at all. I say stay at home and thank you for yeah, joining. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's, that's a really cheap thing to say since I've been watching all this on Facebook for the last two months and I haven't come up. And uh, most people can only come at weekends anyway. So, well done you lot for coming. Now, the thing is, uh, what I want to mention is the water defenders that have been going on, the defending of the water that you're doing here and the fracking, this is like our front line, but actually in America, it was Standing Rock where the Sioux Indians brought together, and it was actually the youth of the Sioux tribe, the Lakota Sioux, who brought together first the Sioux tribe, and then that brought together all the other tribes, and they had an amazing struggle at Standing Rock, which went global. And what was really special and impressive about it was they reached out through Facebook and that, and they didn't do this kind of, we're indigenous people, we're better than you thing. They actually reached out to everyone, and they said, every human being is indigenous to this planet, and we want you all to make a stand. And I wrote this song because I was so moved by what they did, and I reckon that what you're doing here is the same of what they were doing at Standing Rock. So here we go. We'd really like you to sing along. Bells, bells, bells. 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 On the internet, a native family from Standing Rock, Facebooking back at me, blocking the pipeline, sneaking through the waterway with their indigenous solidarity. The warriors are on the water, blocking the bridge in North Dakota. No violence from the Lakota. Stand in their rock, solid bodies in the way. Hey, ah, you keyboard warriors. Hey, ah, defenders of the earth. Don't you know it? Each other stand firm in love, sisters and brothers. Cause more and more people joining every day. Hey, ha, you keyboard warriors. Hey, ha, defenders of the earth. Don't you know it? Go up to the sky. And I look up and in the day. The veterans who fought the war. Making amends, defending native soil, black snake, he's shaking in his core to find the first nation standing in the way. Hey, ha, you people warriors, hey, ha, defenders of the earth, don't you know?
this is one we wrote uh, a long time ago, actually. Uh, I was hearing actually from, uh, no, it's a oh, God, senior moment. I really thought I'd remember the name. What of? I got there and I forgot the name. What, what really of? What have you forgotten the name of? The person I was speaking. Here she is. What's your name? I've forgotten your name. Imelda. Imelda. Is that it? Yes. I was speaking to Imelda. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was talking to Imelda. <laughs> And uh, Amanda was telling me about how she, the first thing she got involved in recently was a campaign to save some green space where a supermarket wanted to build some green, wanted to build, is it in St Anne's, somewhere around? Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was about 10 years ago. About 10 years ago, yeah. And um, we had the same thing in Yeovil, where I came from. They wanted to build a new Sainsbury's. They were going to cut a, a hill in half and build a road. And the council wanted the bypass built, so Sainsbury's would pay for it and they got to cut a, a hill in half. And people in Yeovil didn't want it, and they said no, and they were going to go ahead with it anyway, and then we occupied, mm -hmm. and then eventually we did direct action on Sainsbury's on a Saturday, and on the Monday, Sainsbury's said they didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> which is quite Yay! interesting. Woo! So Yeovil's green space was saved. But it was during the middle of the whole road protest movement that happened in the 90s, which is when I first discovered direct action myself, and many people here did as well. And uh, they were digging big holes in the Mendip Hills, which they still are, to take out stone. A hole so big you can see it from the moon, apparently, in the Mendips. Take out the stone to build the roads to trash other beautiful pieces of woodland. And we were struggling against that. And really, if this fracking goes ahead, it's just going to be more destruction of our beautiful, what's left of our beautiful land. So... And I dreamed I was... Yeah, I've got to watch it, I get too high, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I get so high. <laughs> I don't know why you're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping you can... I can give you a note if you like. That's a good one. Okay. Okay. Do you think so? I think it's brilliant. Okay. Yeah. And I dreamed I was going Where tall trees are growing where nine rivers flowing roll down to the sea <coughs> when i walk there crying lamenting and sighing men in yellow arriving to fell the last tree High hills of our fathers, round hills of our mothers, green hills of my people that used to be free, scraped away to make room for some global whose growth, like a tumour, eats England and me. I'm a lover of England, her wildlife and wisdom. I have walked the land o'er and I've seen what's been done On those rocks I have followed Through a land that's been swallowed Land tortured and hollowed For three pounds a ton and I'll hear no excuses for those whose abuses have put to such uses the land of their birth. Till there's nothing grows off it but slack heaps of profit for some high flyer not fit to live on this earth. 
Let their slaves justify it. They cannot deny it. Though nightly they try it and seem to succeed. That our world has been wasted, skin skewered and basted. For a dream which once tasted consumed us with greed. Are my people half their bed from a lie that's been fed them? Those bribes which have bled them of courage and power. While our last open spaces All those sweet special places Are forgotten like faces That used to be ours And I dreamed I was going where tall trees were growing, where nine rivers flowing roll down to the sea. Tis the isle of the blessed there, but I'll never Till there's no life oppressed there And my land is free So I noticed what uh, I've noticed that in the intros I've, I've been talking quite a lot about oh and we did this and we did that and you, you've probably picked up we've been doing this for a while <laughs> and it's been great it's been a great privilege actually to me because to me and for us to come for Caesar Day you know to come and sing songs at, on the front line as we have been doing really since the road protest days all the way through different struggles sometimes social struggles sometimes environmental struggles all around the planet until we stopped flying because of climate change we decided not to fly anymore but just traveling around and coming to places and every time i'll be honest with you do you know this is the best it's one of the best it's it's my happiest place i'm always happy when i'm here because you know, we're all born into a world which doesn't work. We all know that. And little kids have to grow up in it. And do you know, every human being on this planet is maladjusted because you have to adjust mal. You have to kind of find a weird shape to be in to cope with all the shit that comes to you from the day you're born, actually, on this planet, in this world that we live in at the moment. And that is the reality. And it just kind of comes in on you in your teens. And you've got to find a way to pretend to be an adult in a world that makes no sense, is inhuman, doesn't live up to its own ethics, and where human beings are encouraged to be selfish and to destroy the planet they live on. It's just insane. And we all know that. But the difference, what I love is, the people who come when they can and come to the front line and actually put their bodies there have decided with their own bodies, this is part of the earth, this body. This is our organic connection with the whole planet. We are nature defending itself and we take that power and we come and we do it. And that is the most powerful thing, I reckon, that a human being on this planet can be doing right now. So I'm really proud of you. I love doing it. I love coming. I love it. Because it raises hope, it gives real hope, and you should have real hope because it's a struggle, I know, and if you're new to it, it's like, what the fuck? You know, hundreds of police are coming, it's getting really grim, you've been arrested, all that, you're bailed, it's all shit, they're not covering it on the news, all that stuff. But, I've seen, we've seen a lot of struggles in our lives, and they have won, and now we're at the point where if we win these struggles, these last struggles, which are the struggles against the industrial complex, which depends on fossil fuel and exploitation, these are the struggles, this is the time, we win them, this world will change. If we don't win them, it's bad news. But we're going to win them. We're going to win them. It's a little song I wrote 
for me at the start of this journey when I was working in a cheese factory and I decided I had enough of it and I wanted to change things and it's called No One's Slave, No One's Master. No one's slave, I am no one's master. No one's slave, I am no one's master. On my grave, they will write this after I am gone. I will be gone. And then my flesh will go to the earth it lived on. Breath will go to the air it lived from. I am through with the shame of my lying. I've, I've had, had my fill and the cruelty and crying. Earn my keep in the land where the dying deserts grow. And now I know. And I am looking out with a new perspective Listening out for a new directive Going home to the land of our mothers I will walk with my sisters and brothers We will share what is good with each other in our love It is a love, it is a love that brings you the invitation Join me now in my life drugs no not really <laughs> for protesting and um, it was a difficult decision to make I could have paid the fine but I didn't want to because I was scared of going to prison I was scared of really stupid things which I'll confess now I was scared of being injected with heroin and having all my hair cut off <laughs> neither of those things happened to me and when you first go into prison you get put in the high security bit and uh, there was a woman in the cell above me who had a spider tattoo on one side of her face and on my first night she was smashing my window with a bottle to try and piss me off but she didn't piss me off it was fine I quite liked her really I thought she had a bit of and all the women I met in there had a bit of they, they were just the ones who got caught and I made some good friends and I found a bit more courage inside me and I wrote a bit of this song when I was in there and uh, we all have to face some fear when we do this stuff don't we and uh, I just want to recognise that in every single one of us. Thank you for the bit of fear you have to face, whatever it is. You know, maybe I should could have done with a haircut. I don't know. <laughs>
Now that one out of chorus, you probably didn't pick it up, but you've got the idea now. So, six happy tomorrow. <laughs> That's a good one to sing. <laughs> We were worried you were going to be a really dancey crowd and you'd be demanding all these loud. <laughs> we were really kind of like. They're all knackered. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you've got to save your strength, haven't you? <laughs> and you're comfy and chilled out. That's great. <laughs> Dancing inside. It's nice because it gives us a chance to do songs that we like to do, which people listen to, and that's great. Because <laughs> we're going to Earth First sometime later, the Earth First Summer Gathering. Mm. And it is great. But sometimes, sometimes, I don't know, it's probably when there's masses of alcohol or whatever it is, but people are like, ah! <laughs> And then we have a PA that's really like a great big PA and it's done and people are just, all the, we think we're doing really well and then you see, and then you see the live stream <laughs> later and it's just like, <laughs> and people go, yay! <laughs> and go, oh, okay. So it's really nice to sing songs to people who are listening. <laughs> Not saying anything against Earth First, fantastic. Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa sent her love. Who? <laughs> Vanessa. Vanessa, Vanessa hello. Vine. Vanessa, that would have been Vanessa, Vanessa Vine. Vine. Yeah. Vanessa Vine. Vanessa Vine. Get down here with your ditch. Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to say hello to Vanessa? <laughs> 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 We now. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. <laughs> it smells great. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Bro? I'm a southerner. You've got to be careful with me. I'm very frail, you know. <laughs> no, I just think it's funny. And, and nowadays, we just uh, we used to kind of try and keep ourselves. Now it's like now that every, all the cops, everyone can watch everything on stream, live stream, and then we say, "Oh, and this is Vanessa." <laughs> This is our postcode. Right. <laughs> We're going out to freight machines tomorrow. My name is. Oh. Shh. <laughs> so this is a true story, and I think it is our last song now. Yeah, because there is a time. Although there. there is another one we know that you can sing along with if you want to. Yes. So uh, this is a true story of 13 women who um, called themselves Seeds of Hope, and um, they were really upset, angry, cross, fed up with the um, genocide being committed against the people of East Timor um, by the Indonesian government and the fact that our government was selling hawk jets to their government to do this. So they did the usual things, they did petition, petitions, uh, wrote letters to their MPs and nothing was working. And so they decided that they were going to take direct action. They took a year to plan it and then four of them under the cover of darkness went in and smashed up parts of the plane that were going to be used to commit the genocide. This is their story, it's called With My Hammer. It's got a lovely chorus you can join in. Amazing. You who see injustice all around have not the courage or the will to fight or stand your ground. We who see but are too scared, there are not enough of us prepared to put our lives at risk time and again. And then comes a drop of rain to the parched lips of a world that needs to feel hope again. We are dying as a people and a nation. A third of our people have been killed in 21 years. Our very legal occupation. Ten UN resolutions requesting Indonesia to withdraw. They chose to ignore And a woman cries If you are really human You stop them sending these weapons ashore With my hammer I break the chain I will not remain Of our 
are quite clear Selling weapons to dictators who murder star Rape and torture is illegal There is timber, there is oil Indonesian soil and there's money to be made from the arms trade Our boys need jobs He shouted from the rooftops But not one word of the lives lost or destroyed I cannot believe You continue to deceive yourselves in this way All the people that you pay to make the jet fly We broke our chains. We didn't 
not remain in silence. Oh, let's have another round of applause for Seat today! Okay, you want to do one more? Oh, there is a sort of curfew because we don't want to disturb the, right the people, uh, you know. And um, the people sleeping to get up for six thirty. Ah. Look at those neighbours. And uh, but I ought to mention actually that one of those women who got, who took that big risk, who could have been gone to prison for ten years, broke broke up that nose cone. And they handed themselves in. Now, I just warn you, they had a defence, by the way. The defence was that, the, that this plane was going to be used to commit a greater crime. If you can't actually get through that in law, it's best not to hand yourself in, OK? <laughs> just warn you, you know, when it's a fracking rig, it, it's debatable. So I'd say keep, keep a low profile. But, um, but anyway, she is currently in prison, again, Angie Zelter. And the reason she's in prison... The reason she's in prison is because she blockaded the Coalport uh, Trident base and when she was arrested she was bailed off and she was told, they were told, her and, what's his name? Somebody. You can look it up on the internet if you're watching, it's on the internet. Look it up. They were bailed and told they had to stay away from the area and they couldn't protest until their court trial. And they're like, actually nuclear weapons are a clear and present danger and I have the right to protest every day that I want to and I'm not going to accept these bail conditions, I will come back and protest again. And they were locked up, and they are currently in prison, awaiting trial, because they're not prepared to stop protesting, which is amazing You're right. uh, by them. So, we're so, going to do a last song. Yes, and before we do, we sell CDs, it's part of a way that we make enough money to keep doing what we do, but we also give them away if you haven't got any money. So, if you've got lots of money, you can always pay us more than they cost. Yeah. And if you've got no money at all, you can just have one, or anywhere in between all of that. So if you want to take some music away, come and talk to us afterwards. Thanks very much. When you come, you will have to give us your national insurance number and proof <laughs> of your income. Okay. Uh, and that you're not fit for work. <laughs> we're checking you. Or the um, live if there's anyone, no. I was going to say, where can the live people watching, if, hey? they, want, if they want to buy your music? If they want to buy, just go to www... This is fantastic. Seize the day, don't I told you we should go up here. It's a brilliant marketing Facebook. opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> and Standing Rock's free. Yeah. Right now, Couple you can download on. Standing Rock song for free on our website, www.seizetheday.org. That's www.seizetheday.org. <laughs> <laughs> or no. uh, so, I'll tell you what, the thing is, right, this is what I thought, I thought, there, the beautiful thing about this is, there are people watching, there is probably, and I'm not, just, you know, with infinite love in my heart, I say it's quite free, there's probably one, there's at least one police agent here, probably, you know, don't worry about it, because it's, you never know who they are, and they're usually the best activists, everyone's going to start being crap activists now, just, well, it's not me, no, but, look, Point is, they're watching, and I want to say, if anyone, there will be an, I hope, I bloody hope so, there's an agent of the state watching this, and what I, I want to say is, whoever you are, you know, and this is, the, this is where we're going to win, this is how we're going to win, and this is what the people of Standing Rock were really clear about, is that whoever you are, if you haven't caught up yet, if you're still working for the state, and you're surveying all this, and you're keeping your eyes on it, you're trying to work out how to frustrate the protesters and that, it is only a matter of time before you're going to be on our side because the reason you're doing that is just for a job. The reason we're doing this is because we love the planet and we love all humanity, including you. So we're inviting you. We're the cutting edge. The people here are the cutting edge of this struggle. But every human being is going to come over. I want to say to every agent of the state who's watching and who shares this with any other agent of the state, I want to say, the day that you come over and break ranks, or that you start to feed information to us so that we can be more effective, is the day that you truly become a hero of the human race. So I want to encourage you to do that. So, in 
through that spirit, I want to say, all human beings, and it's because we know all life is connected, we are not motivated by hate, we're motivated by love, and this is a song about how we're all connected. And it's got a little chorus, it says, I am as old as the universe, I've been here before, and I'll be here again. I am a child of the universe, a part of all women, and a part of all men. Try and pick it up. Here's a little history of a bigger mystery. I have written this story into my song. If it isn't what you used to, I hope it will amuse you. And maybe if you choose to, then you'll sing along. It goes, I am as old as the universe. I've been here before and I'll be here. So big